Question number 19. The diagram shows triangle A, B, C, okay, and the point D is a point on AC such that the angle BDC, BDC, this angle, is equal to the angle ABC. This angle and this angle is equal on this diagram. Question number A. Explain why triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. So the one way to prove that one triangle is similar to the other triangle is by proving they have two angles of the same size. So that's one way to prove it. So the first thing I can do is I can draw this out separately. So we have A, B, C, right? So that's B, that's A, and that's C. So this angle we have on A, B, C, right? And now we have angle, we have triangle D, B, C. So D, B, C. So we know that this angle and this angle are the same. So we have one angle which is the same. And the next angle we can see that this angle is the same for both triangle. So angle C is the same on this triangle and this triangle. So since the two triangles have two angles of the same size, they are similar by the so we just have to write this down in um, the question so we will say first this is given so given angle B D C equal to angle A B C that is given to you and then we know that from the diagram angle B C A is equal to angle B C D same angle so thus this is how we determine triangle A B C is similar to triangle D B C Okay, part A done. So now moving on to part B. So we have AC is 10 centimeter, which is AC. AC is long side, so AC, 10. We have uh, BC is eight, BC is eight, okay. And we have BD as six, BD as six, okay. So we have to calculate the length of AB. AB is this side. So we gotta know which side. So, so this one is opposite this side, so that will be this angle, this side. Uh, this one is opposite this side, we'll call this two bars, two bars. So we have to find the value of AB, so this value. So since the two triangles are similar, we can use proportionality to solve them. So we have to use a side. So for example, we have this angle and this this side and this side. So BC over AC is equal to BD over AB. So that's the ratio we get from the two triangles being similar. So now we just have to replace the value. So BC is what? BC is 8, AC is 10, equal to BD is 6 over AB. We need to find AB. So AB is equal to, we have to cross multiply, so 6 times 10 divided by 8, which is what? So we have... Um, Four, three, two, five, fifteen divided by two, that's seven point five. So AB equal to seven point five centimeter.
Question number 20. On the Venn diagram, shade the region represented by B dash intersection with A set. So what is A? A is this big set. B is this big set. So what is B dash? B dash is everything outside B. In the section A, that will be only this part. Not including B. Great. So that's your answer. Okay, moving on to part B. So here is some information about 100 people, right? That's the universal set, 100. So we have 32 drink coffee, 40 drink tea, 50 eat pastry, 18 drink, 18 drink coffee and eat pastry, 18. So 21 drink tea and eat pastry. This is 21. So let's write it down, 18 and 21. So from this number, we have the uh, we can see that 32 drinks coffee so this whole set is 32 how many only drink coffee so 32 minus 18 2 10 8 4 14 so 14 only drinks coffee so p is pastry so we have 50 eats pastry so how many only eats pastry so we have 50 minus 21 minus 18 so 10 minus 1 is 9 9 minus 8 is 1 4 minus 2 is 1 not 2 2 minus 1 is 1 11 here we go and then we're given that 40 drink tea how many drinks only tea which will be uh, 40 minus 21 that will be 3 10 9 1 19 Okay, so now we also have the, the people who does not drink coffee, does not eat pastry, does not drink tea, the outside people. So that will be 100 minus everything inside. So everything inside will be... Um, so 19 plus 21 is 40. 40 plus 11, 51. 51 plus 18 is what? So 51, 18 is 9, 69 plus 14 is 3, 83. So 100 minus 83 will be, so 10 minus 3 is 7, 1, 17. Right. So find N, which is T union P, union c dash so everything outside this set is 17 so 17 is your answer so that's number 20. question number 21 we have shapes a and b are drawn on the grid right shapes a and b so part one draw the image of shape a after a translation with vector minus four one so we have to translate this shape by vector minus four one so we go to the coordinates. So we go minus four, one, two, three, four, and one going up. And same for this one. One, two, three, four, one going up. Same for this one. One, two, three, four, one going up. And one, two, three, four, one going up. So we just have to join the points together to answer part A, which is a translation with vector minus four one so here we go and the last line so part a done right now moving on to part b draw the image of shape a after an enlargement with scale factor minus half center one oh so the first thing we need to find the center center is one oh so that's our center one oh so now the scale factor is minus half. That's okay, no big deal. So the first thing we need to do is label the points of shape A. We have A, B, C, D. So we ask ourselves, how do we move from center 1, 0 to point A? So we move down by two. So one, two, right? So which means the vector that represents this move is zero minus two. 
zero why because we don't move left or right so that's why zero we just move down by two it's minus two so now we take this vector we multiply by the scale factor which is minus half it will be zero and then minus two minus half will be one so that's our new coordinate for a dash which is a image so zero one we get zero one That's the point. Okay, so now moving on to part B. We move 1, 2, and 1, 2, which is 2 to the right and 2 to the bottom times minus half we get. So 2 minus half will be minus 1. And oh, yeah, this point is actually um, 0, 1 from this center. So 0, 1. We move left or right zero, we don't move, and one will be here. So the point A will be here. Okay, so this one will be two times minus half will be minus one, minus two times one and a half is one. So from this point, we'll move minus one and one, it will be here. So that's the point for B dash. That's B dash, that A dash, right. And then point uh, C. We have to move one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the vector representing the move is 4 to the right and 4 to the bottom times the scale factor, which will be 4 times minus 2 is minus 2, minus 4 times minus 2 is 2. So from this point, we'll move 1, 2, and up 1, 2. Because it's positive, we move up. And then the last point, D, is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 for left or right, and then bottom is minus 4 times minus half, right? So we get 0, and then we get 2. From this point, we, get, we move up by 2, 1, 2. So that's our image after the enlargement by scale factor minus half. We just have to join the points using a ruler to make sure it's straight. OK, so that's the image after the enlargement okay so part b is done moving on to part c we see uh, shape a is mapped onto shape b by a single transformation p so we have a is mapped onto b by a single transformation so the first thing we notice is that the size of these two are the same it's just that this one it has been inverted in a different direction so the first part is describe fully the transformation of P. So it is pretty easy to see that it is a reflection on the x-axis. So the transformation that we have will be, so you will say uh, transformation P is a reflection in the x axis that's the answer now part b part two find the matrix representing the transformation p so for the matrix we can see that for coordinates of a going to this point this point that point the x coordinate are the same because we can see that okay let's say we have a here which is one minus two and we have one two we have 3 minus 2, 3, 2. So the x coordinate is the same. So the only thing that changed is the y coordinate by, so we have 2 and minus 2 here. So it changed from negative to positive. So the matrix will be, so for the x coordinate, it is positive. So it has to be positive. So you have to put 1 and 0. And for the y-axis, it changed from negative to positive, so we have to put 0 minus 1. That's the matrix for the transformation. Question number 22. Solve the simultaneous equations. Show your work. 2x plus 3y equal to 4, and we have 
3x plus 2y equal to 11. So I will use the substitution method. You can also use the elimination if you would like to use that method. So label the equation. This is equation number one, equation number two. So let's start with equation number, number one. So we have 2x plus 3y equal to 4. So, so we have 2x equal to 4 minus 3y. So x equal to 4 minus 3y divided by 2. That's the first part. Now we have to replace x in equation number 2. So 3x, which is 4 minus 3y over 2 plus 2y equal to 11. So now we multiply 2 everywhere. So 2 times here cancel. So 3, 4 minus 3y plus 2 times 2y, 4, 2 times 11, 22. Okay, so continue on this side. We have expand the brackets. So 3 times 4 is 12, minus 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4y equal to 22. So minus 9 plus 4y is minus 5y equal to 22. So 12, we send this over here, minus 12. So 5y equal to 22 minus 12 is 10 y equal to 10 divided by minus 5 which is minus 2 so y is minus 2 so now to find the value of x we have to replace y in the equation here so x equal to 4 minus 3 y is minus 2 over 2 which is equal to 4 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so x equal to 5 and y is minus 2.